Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 1st of 2022. Well, it is titled Lunation Matrix. So what do we see here? Well, here we see 28 images of our moon as it goes through its cycle of phases. And that's one taken every day over the course of 28 days. Now the cycle of lunar phases is actually 29 and a half days, a little bit longer than this. And that's because the phase of new moon is then impossible to get because it would be essentially invisible. You would not see any portion of the moon illuminated, so it would be completely dark. And you can see in the upper left and the lower right the very thin crescent in the upper left, you have the waxing crescent just beginning right after new moon. And in the lower right, you have the waning crescent just before the next new moon. And in between, it goes through the progression of phases. So each day, as we start at the upper left, as we go across from left to right, we see that the moon is becoming more and more illuminated each day. These are the waxing crescent phases. And that means that the waxing phases simply mean that more and more of the moon is being illuminated each night. And that is what we see over this progression in the first line that we're going from an extremely thin crescent to a week later, roughly to the first quarter phase of the moon. Now the first quarter phase is when we see a half of the moon illuminated as seen from Earth. So you can see that at the end of the first line, very close to that, or the beginning of the second line. In the second line, we progress again through the waxing phases. This is a waxing gibbous phase heading from the first quarter phase on the left to a full moon on the right. Now, so for the first two lines, the moon has been getting more and more illuminated each night. Now after that, it can't become more illuminated than full moon. So all it can do is become less illuminated as it continues through this cycle of phases. And we see that in the third line, we're going from a full moon down to third quarter. And note how first quarter and third quarter are the opposite. In one case on the first quarter, the right hand side of the moon is illuminated. Whereas in third quarter, it is the left hand side of the moon illuminated. And then finally, in the bottom row, we go from the third quarter heading back toward new moon We're getting waning phases here in these last two rows, where less and less of the moon is illuminated each night. And we come back around here and then in between we would get a new moon where we would see nothing illuminated. So the one phase that's missing would be that new moon. Now the only way to see a new moon really is during an eclipse. So when the new moon passes in front of our sun, we get a solar eclipse. But that's really the only way you can see it when it is against the brighter sun in the background during that time of eclipse. And since an, e since an eclipse does not occur each month, that it will not always happen. But here we get to see the entire cycle of phases of, of the moon taken on 28 straight nights from July 29th till August 26th to get an almost complete cycle of the lunar phases. So that was our picture of the day for October 1st of 2022. It was titled Lunation Matrix. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Cosmic Canon. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.